Welcome to Goats Gardens and Healthy Tips. I have a new furry friend here that I'd like to introduce you to. This is Arthur, and Arthur has been with us for two weeks now. Arthur was at our um, local animal shelter, and I do some volunteer work there. So um, Arthur just kind of came in, and I had a special special draw to Arthur. Um, he was in from a very severe neglect case that he was taken from, rescued from. And actually he was brought into a different shelter and then um, he was there for, I don't know, maybe like a month or something. Then he was transferred to our shelter. Um, so I don't really know his whole history. Uh, it sounds like he had been adopted and then he had been, um, that person that was not able to take care of him and had given him to somebody and that person just neglected him. and somehow he just became this very bad neglect case and he was one of those dogs that was so severely matted that they can't even see or function or anything and um, had to be sedated and shaved and also had um, some pretty bad dental infections and had some uh, quite a few teeth taken out so they estimate Arthur to be about eight years old he is very sweet little guy um, I just felt bad like He's an older dog, um, he's got dental stuff, and I just kind of felt like he might have a hard time getting adopted. He did end up getting adopted, and then he was returned in a couple of days because that person that adopted him had a larger dog, and that dog was aggressive with him, and they didn't really want to deal with that. So um, we have smaller dogs, and I just thought that he would work out. And he's doing just really good. He's um, did really well with our, with um, Riley and Max. He's done really well with the grand dogs, Snow and Blue, and with the grandkids. He's met, and he's met the, the grown children. He's met the whole family. So he's done really well with everybody. Um, he's a great walker. We love to go for walks, and he is a great walker. And he's enjoying, I make homemade dog food, and he's enjoying that. He's actually looks so much better. His hair has changed color. He was really, um, just really fair like this hair up here all over and he's gotten this nice dark dark color to his hair now it's grown it's so much healthier just in the last couple of weeks i did take him to the vet and got him checked up just this last week um he does have another dental infection that we're treating but then i got the call back that it came back that he was tested positive for lyme as well so um, we're treating the lyme and then um, when that treatment is done, if the dental is not better, which his breath is already smelling better, then we'll treat the dental again. If that doesn't work, then they'll probably have to look in there to make sure there's not a, a abscess root somewhere or something. I'm also using some of my, um, my Rife, my frequency work for his dental, and we'll just get him all healthy again so that he can have a good, happy life. Yeah. But anyways, he is a sweetheart. And the next thing that we're going to be doing is teaching him on the electric underground fence because he doesn't really like to be tied up when the other dogs are out prancing around and he wants to be out prancing around too. So um, I thought I would make a video of that because I've trained quite a few dogs. This I think is number six on, on this fence that we have here on our property and they've all done really well with it. I know some people have a problem with that, but my dogs have all done really well with it respecting the, the fence line. So we're going to start training little Arthur, so I'll make a little video about that so you can see how Arthur does on his fence training. So anyways, I just wanted to introduce Arthur because um, he'll probably be in some of the videos as he's strutting around here. And um, this is Arthur, our new little furry guy. Yeah, you're a good boy, aren't you, Arthur? Yeah, you're a good boy. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.